not only tech, but fintech is something that I am very interested in because of that, because I think it's a strategic advantage for the United States, and it's something because of this disruptive model that we need to be the, the thought leaders in and the leading entrepreneurs in. So if there's a cyber attack in this sector, not only will businesses suffer, but the trust and confidence in your technology, in your applications, in your firms will be undermined. I don't have to tell you that your businesses are based on trust and confidence, cybersecurity underpinning all of that. So I think that it's pretty important. Um, and second of all, so it's not just for your business, it's just for the country. Imagine now if you're the Russian intelligence service and you see what you just did to the United States election, or you're the North Koreans and you think, well, where's another center of gravity in the US where if I undermine confidence in the American way of life, the American system, it will even further erode their ability to have influence in the world. It's in the financial sector and it's in the tech sector. So my message to y'all is you're doing something that is bigger and more important than just creating new firms. That is important than just creating more capital and just disrupting the financial sector. You're doing something that matters to the United States. And while you're doing that, you have to think a lot about your cybersecurity of your firm and be aware of what's going on. And you can help out and try to make a difference, right? So that's one of the things I'm now moving on to the Kennedy School where I like to teach. And I'm going to run a project on this called uh, Defending a Digital Democracy.